Okay, today we'll be working in the yellow slice, mean, median, and mode computations. Okay, it says to better understand personal experiences of headache pain, a drug manufacturer has asked 10 adults to rate their most recent headache on a scale of 0 to 100. Okay, and here are the 10 ratings, so we can see these numbers here. They're going to ask us to calculate the mean, the median, and the mode for these values. And so this is one of the most basic operations in statistics. Uh, we often, in everyday life, talk about an average, but in statistics we have three different averages, and they all start with M, the mean, the median, and the mode. So let's go through and work those out. First thing it's very useful to do is to take these values and sort them. So let's sort the values from small to large and we will first of all calculate the median. Now the median is the middle value so let's take a look uh, quickly here at our notes and uh, we'll talk about those. First of all here the median they asking, uh, they're asking us for that first on this particular problem. So let's go up here and talk about that. The median is the middle value. Now that depends a little bit on whether the number of items on your list is even or odd. Uh, we'll do two different treatments for those things. So let's quickly look at the, uh, the problem again and see which type we're dealing with. Notice here that we have 10 ratings and so we're dealing with an even number for our n and so that's going to require a little bit of finesse so let's talk about that here's what we will do first thing let's do is to take the 10 and just divide that by 2 so obviously 10 divided by 2 is 5 when that comes out to be a whole number like that we know then that we're going to take that fifth number on the list and look it up. We will also take the sixth number on the list and look it up. We will take those two values that we have, we will add them together, and then divide that answer by two. So let's go on there now and see what those values are, and let's come back and do that. Now, first of all, the list has to be sorted, or this doesn't work, so we count the values. This is the first one, the second one, the third one, and so on up to the tenth one in order, but it has to be after we sort it. So we're going to go to the fifth value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 32, and the sixth value, which is 43, so 32 and 43. We're going to add those up and get 75. It's going to take the 75 then, divide that by 2, which is going to be 37.5. And so our median value is going to be 37.5. And once again, notice here, if the answer isn't an integer, then round to at least one decimal place. So the 37.5 is, in fact, going to come out to the one decimal place and will be good. So that's the median calculation. Now, the next question they ask us here is the mean. Now, once again, the mean is the typical average that uh, most of us would think of anyway. And uh, basically what we do there is just like you would expect. We would take, first of all, all the numbers. We would add them up, or in the language of statistics here, the summation notation means to add up all of your values and then simply divide by the number of numbers. Now adding those up is easy enough in Alex because you can use your Alex calculator for that. So once again what we'll do here is grab those numbers and pull them into the Alex calculator. Notice the summation button so we can merely click that and we'll get a total of 366. So the 366 then is going to be our summation of x so 366 divided by 10, because 10 is the number of items on our list, that division is easy to do, and that's going to be 36.6. So that's going to be the mean of our calculation. So let's go ahead and put that in. And on the last question then, the question about the modes. 
And once again, on modes, we need to review here that the mode basically is the most repeated value on the list. Keep in mind that if there are no numbers repeated, there might not be a mode. There might be one mode, or there could be multiple modes. So we'll have to look carefully to see what uh, situation we're dealing with here. So on our list of numbers, once again, it's nice to have those numbers brought in and sorted. It's easier to tell what you got. So as we look through these numbers, notice in this case that none of the numbers is repeated. So in this case, we simply don't have a mode. Other times, if one number is repeated the most, uh, we might have one mode. And if two numbers are each repeated the same number of times, we might have two of those. In our case, though, no numbers were repeated and therefore no mode. Let's go ahead and check and see if Alex likes that. And they do.